telephone, kill me with Goldfinch, sitting on the telephone wire, sitting on the telephone wire. I've done three minutes and 17 seconds. My arms are killing me and my feet are in the wrong position, but I'm going to stay with it because it's so amazing. He's just on his own, right above me. I'm inside the kitchen. It's too windy in the garden. He's being blown around. Oh, he's changed position. He's turned around. Now I can see the yellow on his wing, the gold. Now he's, now he's turned back again, and I can see his red head and black head. I got him on such a maximum mag magnification. He's still on his own, hanging on for dear life. It's incredibly windy. Yeah, I see him clearly. He's been cleaning his wings and looking round. He's quite big, he's quite plump. I think male and females look very alike, so I'm not sure whether it's a male or a female. I'm going to stick with it as long as I can. I've got four minutes, 54 seconds. I can hear the dunnock singing as well. He's just looking around. He, I'm just moving slightly. He's looking around. He's not attempting to come down into the garden to the feeders. I've got five minutes, 26, 27 seconds now. I wonder if he's aware that there are seeds on the bed table. I'm not sure. He just watched a little sparrow fly past. I just come down into the garden, onto the willow tree. I can see his markings very clearly. He's very content just sitting there.